Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be unboxing and showing you guys how to set up the R4 SD HC dual core. So this is the 2018 edition, and this is for every console, um, including Nintendo DS, right up to the 3DS. So um, this one is actually very cheap. I got this on eBay. I think it was like four pounds or something like that, which maybe comes to around five dollars. So yeah, um, very cheap R4 card. And let's just take a look at the packet. So the back of the box, it's actually kind of interesting because it says, just like iTunes for iPhone. And that's probably one of the worst ways of describing an R4 card. But there you go. So let's just unbox this right now. And then inside, you'll just find the R4 card. This is what it looks like. I actually quite like the design of this one. Very simple. You can see it's got the 2018 in the corner. And this is the dual core one. Um, so it also has every console that it works on. Pretty much every DS that Nintendo have ever made. And then you've just got your SD port on the back. It also comes with a USB to micro SD card adapter. So let's just take this out. I think it's a fairly cheap one. Yep, just a fairly basic... Um, USB to micro SD card adapter. Okay, so now let's just set this thing up. Right here, I've just got a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. And all you want to do is once you have your SD card, just put it into the micro SD adapter, plug this into your PC, and I will show you guys what files to copy across. Right guys, so once you're on at your computer and your R4's SD card is plugged in, you'll find it the SD card on your file explorer. And what you want to do is you actually want to format it. So just go ahead and right click it. If there is anything on the SD card, you will need to back it up because this will be deleted. But scroll down, go to format and you want to just select capacity as normal, file system as FAT32, allocation size, leave it as default, make sure this box is checked, and then just click on start. Then just click on OK, and your SD card is going to be formatted um, to the right file system for the R4 card files. So now you can just click OK and close out of this. Now I have a link in the description to the 2018 um, R4 3DS dual core firmware, so scroll down and you can select your language. I'm just going to select English right here. So just click on it and it will begin downloading the zip file. So this firmware was actually updated um, on the 2nd of August. So not that long ago, I guess. Still pretty new firmware. So if you have one of these older cards, you can always update it. So once the firmware has finished downloading, you want to head over to your PC's downloads folder and you will be able to find it in there. So double click on the zip file just to open it. Go inside of the version 3.9 folder and simply select all the files and drag and drop them on your SD card. Right guys, so once your firmware has finished across, you can now copy across your Nintendo DS ROMs. So here's a backup of just one of my games, um, Goosebumps Hoyland. I'm going to just drag and drop this onto the card. So then just wait for this to copy across. Now you can put your ROMs inside a file folder if you wish to. Um, I just like to keep them on the root. Okay guys, so now all of the firmware files and the ROMs are copied across. I'll now go back onto my 3DS and show you guys what this R4 card's like. Right guys, so once you're back off your PC, you can now take out your micro SD card and put it back into your R4. Now just get your DS or 3DS or whatever console you have and just put your R4 into it. So here it is, this is what it's come up with, um, Bomberland Nintendo, but once you press A on it, it will actually boot um, into the R4 card menu. So this card does work with other kernels as well. Um, this is just the R4i uh, Revolution, probably one of the best ones. This is the one that it's recommended. So obviously we've got our game section, multimedia, that's like videos, pictures, music. And we've got config. If we go into config, um, there's just like update, skin, uh, nothing really that interesting. Power on, that just literally clothes closes the R4 card um, but in config it just has sound and stuff like that nothing too interesting in the configuration settings but let's go on to the game section it has an Xbox 360 controller which is kind of interesting it also comes with a copy of Moonshell uh, Moonshell is just like an mp3 player so here is the game I got uh, Goosebumps Horrorland just a backup game let's just press A and that will create a save file this does actually have um, real-time saves 
and it will also just launch up the game for us. So yeah, very simple R4 card. Um, if you don't want to spend much money and you just want to play a few games, you can get these on eBay on Amazon uh, for less than $5, which is actually pretty cool. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys an unboxing of this and a setup since I had it laying around. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.